Hello everyone, we're back. <clears throat> um, okay, I'm gonna do another tuning video here. And uh, I've got uh, 1.57 megahertz on the signal generator. And I'm going to the where the would be input would usually go. And uh, ignoring the gap here. Uh, for some reason I'm not getting a response if I put the bulb uh, here but uh, for some reason I'm not getting any light in that bulb anyway uh, so <coughs> who knows if that's got to do with the uh, caduceus coil primary but anyway uh, 5 nanos in series with the uh, primary coil and primary coil caduceus style comes back around and ends at the black signal gen wire. So, interesting. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be funny. You've seen this before. Not a big deal, but I'm using the step up coils, earth uh, center tap, and the ends are going to the primary on the step down transformer. So this is, uh, with this loose coupling, I'm so surprised that uh, there's any light coming out of this thing. And it is, it seems pretty bright. Uh, I mean, I haven't, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm getting these uh, streamers from the, in the camera here. Um, Okay, the strangest thing though, and I'm wondering if people can explain this, ignore these uh, caps here, is um, when I open up this little spark gap I've got, see it goes uh, from, uh, let me just change this here, Just so you can see this a little more clearly. From the ends straight to uh, we're not we don't have any caps in between here, so why use any diodes, right? Um, and then we're gonna go to this uh, series gap that I can open up here. So it's closed right now. But you can see that I can open that up, adjust it, and uh, straight to the primary coil. <clears throat> There's a ferrite rod in here that um, just about reaches end to end. And in this one, there's a ferrite rod uh, 8 inches long, reaches about to halfway. So I wonder if uh, I'm losing anything by not extending the ferrite fully. I'll have to get some more. Um, uh, I found though you, uh, there is such a thing as too many ferrites. Uh, it'll start to, I don't know, I'm not really sure what it was doing when it's uh, starting to choke the light at a certain point. But this is uh, pretty interesting not having a, you know, uh, direct coupling, it's uh, loose coupling, you know. Uh, okay, but when I open this gap, Watch the, watch the bulb. Okay. So it's like, is this half of the coil even getting picked up? I'll touch the coil. And uh, it does dim it slightly, touch the other end, and it affects the inductance so much that, yeah, it's got to be the ferret.
So, I guess that's pretty obvious. Answered the question. But, it's very surprising though that going through this transformer, or, uh, you know, Tesla coil uh, bi bipolar kind of uh, setup to this second loose coupling setup. Um, primary is about 614 microhenries, and the secondaries are about, um, uh, what were they? Like 30 something or 40 microhenries. And uh, any caps put on the end here, uh, take away output, any caps uh, here also kill the output. So this is really cool. Okay, and uh, you might think, oh well, you know, it's kind of tough to drive uh, your circuit with 1.57 megahertz right into your primary. It's not impossible, but uh, what what you can do is uh, keep dividing 1.57 in half and you end up with about 49 kilohertz well in range of the driver. So, that's the same note as 1.57 megahertz Oops. Oops. <laughs> doing this wrong So watch the bulb as I tune it in. I'm not going to watch the frequency, just the brightness. You can go. So we'll keep going. Point five seven Let's see if we can really fine tune it. Yeah. So pretty cool stuff. Two transformers. Looks like they're tuned. I'll be back with a uh, run video, and we'll see what uh, see what's coming out. Enjoy.